I wonder if I could trick him into running off the cliff. Ooh, what is that? Oh, is that hurting me? But it's making my vision weird. Oh, there it goes. What's up, automation engineers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play 4 Satisfactory. All right, guys, I have been doing a lot of work off camera. Let me bring you up to speed. Uh, nothing new over there. Um, nothing new over... Yeah, actually, there is something new over here, I think. Honestly, I don't know if I did this on camera for you guys or not, but just in case I didn't. Um, I went ahead and moved these down. These used to be here, right? They were a little too close, so I moved them down, right? And the reason I moved them down is because I moved all these smelters down. Now, the reason I moved all the smelters down is because I redid the iron line. Yes. Yes, sir. This is the new iron line, okay? So it's coming in on two belts up there, right? One of the belts is coming... Here, let me show you. One of the iron belts is being split into two lines, which means 50% uh, going one way, 60 going one way, 60 going the other. It's coming in on 120. I've got a lot... Actually, I do have a lot of stuff to show you. Anyway, <laughs> this is coming in at 120, being split into 60 and 60. Now, eventually, I'll have a second iron line coming in, and then there'll be 120 and 120. This, uh, this split right here is uh, only temporary. Okay, now let me show you what I've done over here. I've went through over here and I've redone the entire belt, right? Uh, here, let's get off this before we fall and hurt ourselves. And let me show you what I've done here. I've got this, um, I've got this uh, elevator, this um, conveyor belt elevator, and I got this from Skippy0330. He does awesome videos on this game, and I learned how to make this belt from him. Uh, we'll make this belt together at some point, maybe next video, maybe the video after, I'm not really sure. But um, it's pretty self-explanatory if you look at it. You just use these um, you just use these uh, conveyor poles and you leave one space in between them going this way. And then you leave one, two, three spaces in between going this way. And then you just have the belts go up and around, right? And uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. The only thing I'm, having, I'm concerned about is I want to make more to get more stuff up there, but it's going to get a little crowded down here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Um, another thing I did was I went ahead and redid this whole line. So this uh, belt now comes up this way. Actually, let's run down here and show you. Man, I did a lot, guys. Uh, let me just run down here and show you. Uh, I'm trying to get like, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, towards the end game of this game, trying to get into the real sexy stuff that people want to see. Um, so I tore up a lot of stuff down here. The, the stone, the concrete production has been halted. I need to make a new concrete production thing and um, I have to do it soon and I'm going to do it off camera because you guys have already seen it. But um, I went ahead and put down some foundations. You can put down foundations over the mines as long as the foundation is low enough and then you can put a miner on top of the foundation. So I have two two things coming out here with iron ore, which is merging into one. I believe each one is putting out 30 or 60. Yeah, 60 per minute. And it's it's merging into one, and that one line is doing six, uh, 120 per minute. And um, I went ahead, and what I did was I... I started there and I built foundations going right to here, put the pole on there, and then deleted all the foundations in the middle. Uh, this is actually going to get redone again. I've got a really cool idea for some um, for some new conveyor setups out here that I think are going to be pretty neat. But for now, this will do. And I also ran the power line along the conveyor belt. That's an old Factorio thing um, that I really think is cool. Makes it a lot more neat. And the iron comes right in here, goes into the conveyor elevator, and goes up onto the iron mine. And I already showed you that. So let me show you what else I've done. Man, how do I get all this done in so little time? I mean, so much to do. So much to do. All right, so I went ahead and put walls down uh, wherever I could. And the walls are not quite done yet. There's a, there's a walkway up top, which is not quite done yet. And I'm just kind of figuring out ways to, like, uh, you know, get around without having to jump over conveyor belts and stuff. I think this is a really cool bird's eye view of the uh of the station which is pretty cool I, I might leave it or i might when everything's said and done put um walkways around the outer side of the factory i'm not really sure but um yeah this is pretty cool so you come right over here and i made a way you can get down over here just like this so you can get down if you want to come into this area i'm gonna make a little stairways going down into every area and this one comes down over here which goes to my um which goes to my hub and i made one over here i think this is the one i like the most See how this is like spiral? I think this is the best one. I'll probably do this everywhere. And I put down some walls here. You can see I'm putting down walls everywhere. Um, this is pretty cool. Check this out. We've got a... Um, I can hook this up to that, right? And I'm not going to do it because I don't want this stuff coming on the line. And then that goes over to here and goes back onto the hub. It goes back onto the uh, bus line. Pretty cool, right? I like it. I like it a lot. And yep, we got a little doorway right here. You can come over here and that's all I've gotten to on that side. 
And then on this side, oh man. I have finally come up with a template for how I'm going to handle my crafting stations, right? Uh, crafting module modules. Um, someone would call them crafting modules. Um, I kind of like crafting stations, uh, so I'm going to stick with that. But anyway, I've got right here the um, iron rods coming off the line, and we got the splitter right there. As a matter of fact, this should have something below it. So it looks like it's supported. There we go. And that comes over here and goes on to the line. We have one right here, which is taking... What is this taking? Uh, it's not taking anything yet because it's not on the line. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the uh, the iron reinforced plates that I don't have hooked up yet. All right. So that brings them over here. And I finally have a template, guys. This is a template. I was having a hard time figuring out a cool way to uh, deal with assemblers. Now, I want two assemblers. I don't think I'll ever need more than two. But if I do, I'll have to figure out how to do that at a certain point. But right now, it has two assemblers hooked up. This one goes on to the bottom line. This one goes on to the top. The top gets split right here. Goes into there. Right? The bottom line gets split right there, goes into there, and then uh, we just mirror that build over here. Do the same thing again. Right? You don't even need splitters here. I'm going to probably take out these splitters and replace them with just um, 90 degree angle turns. I also have these not hooked up because I only need one, really I only need one assembler going on right now. As a matter of fact, I don't have anything being made because I don't really need module frames right now. Um, so there you go. So that, that is, but the, the whole the idea of this was the template. And that's what this was about. Now I have a template. And I think it's a pretty good looking template to be honest. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, huh, man, let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. Today, you guys have been asking for it, and I hear you loud and clear. We're going to go out and do some exploration, okay? Not only do I want to do some exploration, but I want to get more of those slug things that allow me to make uh, overclocking. I forget what they're called. Overclocking thingamabobs. Um, so, yeah, I love this game to death. It is freaking awesome. It's not getting any views. I don't give a F. I'm playing it. All right, so uh, all right, so let's go over here, and we're going to do some upgrading. Uh, if we're going to go out and explore today, there's a couple things I want. First of all, I want beacons. So if I find something sexy out there, I can mark it with a beacon. All right, so I'm going to need some beacons. Second of all, I want an object scanner. Scans the area uh, for, a set, for a set item. Beep at the rate proportional proximity and direction. Now, what do you mean by set item? Can I tell it what item? To oh, it says for power slugs. That's exactly what I wanted it for. So can you actually set the item, or... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's changing anything. Object scanner scanning for power slugs. Oh, hold down right click. Power slugs or cancel. Okay. So right now we can only do power slugs. So f fair enough. Fair enough. But if we're going to be going out, I think I want a little bit more... Um, uh, maybe a little bit more melee to protect myself with. So let's see what the game has to offer. Improved melee combat. We can get a Xeno Basher. Hells to the freaking yeah. So I know right now I'm going to need some more of these, um, what are these called? Uh, rotors. So let's go get a rotor and we're going to upgrade that to the Xeno Basher. Hells yeah. So these are the rotors right here. Uh, we'll just take 100 because why not? And we'll come over here and do that. This factory is ready to rock, guys. It's humming. It's freaking humming. By the way, when you shut down your factory, if you shut down your factory and make it not produce anything for a while, and then you start it back up, it actually takes a good amount of time for it to get it back up to where it's supposed to be. It's really cool. I like that. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's make that Xeno Basher. Improve melee combat. And Oh, we need 1,500 of these. Okay. All right. Let's send it on its way. Uh, 200... 10, 1500, 25. Boom! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Milestone. F reach. yeah! RD inflated your pocket dimension and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Alright, so it seems like that um that upgrade I just did is really good for exploration because it also gives you more room in your inventory. Alright, Xeno Basher. Oh, so we're gonna need two Xeno Zappers. Oh, look at that. All right, we're going to need a lot more wire and a little bit more cable, right? A lot more wire and a little bit more cable. All right, let's go do that. I will show you where I get my copper and wire and cable from because this freaking factory is a beast. I love it. I love this game to freaking death. Never understood. Some, some people were like, oh, I stopped watching. It was just boring. I was like, wow. I mean, hey, man, everyone's got their own opinion, so, you know, God bless you. You know, I hope you find... I hope I'm playing something you like. You know, I'm sure I am. But, like, man, that's just... It's just something else, man. Boring. Oh, this game's... This game just... 
scratches that itch like no other game. Well, maybe except for Factorio. All right, so we just need one more of these. And the Xeno Basher. Hells to the freaking yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at this. Did, did, does it tell you it's damage or anything? Uh, heavy electric. No, nah, I didn't tell you that much. Just see how it looks. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Oh, look at the little, the little wrench thing. Oh, my God. You guys are in trouble, man. You guys are in freaking trouble. All right, guys. I have no idea how this thing works. Um, but it starts beeping when I point it in certain directions. Um, right click just does that. But, uh... What is, what is, uh, sorry, left click just does that. What does right click do? It might just do nothing. It might just be like an animation just for the sake of it. But yeah, let's go out. Let's go do some exploration. So I don't like having this thing in my hand. Is there any way to like, is there any way to use this without having it in your hand? Because I want this thing in my hand, you know? Uh, so I, I don't know. Can we drag it down here? No, uh, that didn't work. All right, well, it is what it is. I guess we just have to be ready for a fight, and um, I don't like having to come to my inventory to, to like, change things around there, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's just the way it works sometimes. All right, so let's just uh, follow the beep, I guess. I think if you're facing the wrong way, it starts static. So it looks like there's uh, probably uh, one of these power slugs in front of me. And then, uh, you know, we'll be ready to overclock. I don't know if we're going to have any need for overclocking until we get the uh, Mark III belts, but we'll be getting the Mark III belts sooner than you guys think. All right. Plus, people wanted me to do exploration, so let's let's do some exploration. Wait, stop beeping. Oh, hold on. Is it in a cave? Oh, I wonder if it's in a cave. Beep, 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 beep. It's telling me to go this way. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, beautiful. Thank you very much, scanner thingy. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so it looks like we've got another one this way. It seems like the scanning range is pretty pretty decent, too. Any uh, baddies down there? What kind of nodes are these? Impure. Oh, pure. Pure. Well, you know what? That is something I want to mark. See, this is exactly where I brought these. Now, let's see how these work. Uh, throw it down. Now what, can I name it? Nope. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Stop that too. Take that out of your hands. Alright, can we name it? Enter beacon name. Uh, pure... Wait. Pure iron. Beautiful. That's cool. Enter. No. Escape. There we go. No oh, cool! Alright, guys, we got some pure iron. What is iron, What is pure iron put out? 120 or 90? I'm not really sure, but that is pretty close to the base, too. So, that is really nice. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for more pure iron. Yeah, you know what, guys? I was kind of hesitant to come out and explore, but now this is this is awesome. See why I don't like doing this? Come on, chump. Come on, chump. Let's dance. Come on. You want to dance, right? Yeah, how you like me now? We need to do more research, too. There's so much about this game I don't know. I've been I've been just so crazy with building my factory that I just haven't, like, looked at all the other stuff. Oh, more pure. Okay, well, that's close enough. I'll be able to see it from there. So, oh, my God. This is a lot of pure. This is my pure nodes. I'm assuming we're going to need these for other things. All right, you know what? I'm going to put down another one of these. More, more, because these are kind of far away, and I don't want to miss them. Okay, go right there, and pure iron. Oh, this is great. This is great. All right. So it looks like we've got to get up on that mountain. Up on that ridge right there. I know there's caves in the game. I just, uh, you know. Oh, I should have brought more concrete with me. I'm probably going to have to build, like, ways to get up on mountains and stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh. I think I'll walk around. I'm not gonna build a. I'm not gonna build a walkway up. I'll walk around. It's not like I can't get up there. It's definitely telling me to go that way. Go east. I need more of these too. Need more health items. I keep falling off stuff, <laughs> taking damage. The, the enemies don't do a lot of damage to me. It's more me falling off stuff. Come on. I'm so glad I got this freaking thing, man. I never. I never even knew about this. Okay. 
And it works really well. I like it. It's not quite as easy as just, you know, doing this. Well, whatever. Oh, I right. Hey, wait, I right clicked. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's grab all these healing items too. Oh, we gotta go up there. Yeah, this thing's fantastic. Oh. Oh, this way? Oh, we got another note up here. It's time to lay the smack down again. I ain't afraid of you, chump. Oh! I got, I got healing items. Anybody else? You got a buddy around here? God, more pure nodes? Alright. Well, we're going to have to bring in a lot of iron, so I guess we'll just keep marking these pure nodes. Come on. Damn it. There we go. Iron. That's not how you spell iron. Okay. This way? This one might actually be in a cave. Huh. Oh. oh, there it is. Wait, why isn't it beeping? Is there another one over here? Yeah, it seems like it's kind of broken because it wasn't beeping when I was looking right at it. I'm the papa. Alright, take it easy. I'm getting it. How do I get this, this one? I climb this tree or something. There we go. Jeez, this thing's freaking out. Look at it. Great, I'm stuck now. Well, thank God for autosave. Because uh, I was literally stuck there. I only had to go back like three minutes though. It wasn't a big deal. So it says there's another one over here. This one might be in an underground though. Oh, crap. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I will be with you in a moment. All right, yeah, come at me. You can't hit me. I'm too, I'm too fast for you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Come on, now. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't do this because I had to roll back the game. So let's just go ahead and put this down. Pure iron. No, come on. Pure iron. All right, let's see if we can find this next slug. I have a strange feeling this next one is underground, though. Because it's pointing this way. There's nothing over here. Yeah, this one's underground. There's got to be a cave around here somewhere. I don't know. Should I, should I try and find it? or? Oh, what's down there? That looks interesting. What do we got down here? Any baddies? I don't see any baddies. It looks like an area... Oh, what is that? That is an iron. What? Alright. Alright. I don't know what I'm getting into here, so let's see what's going on. Oh, it's copper. Okay. Pure copper. Nice. Should I mark it? It's kind of far away. Well, actually, it's probably not that far away. Yeah, let's mark it. Why the hell not? Do we even need copper, though? I'm going to mark it anyway, because I'm assuming one day we're going to need copper. <laughs> but i got to be honest, like, there's really been not much need for copper. Like, it has not been a problem. Uh, pure cop. Pure cop. He's a pure cop on the beat, trying to do the right thing in a world full of criminals. Oh, we're right by our, our oil. Or, I'm sorry, our coal. Hey, there's my, there's my, uh, my truck. So, do you guys see any? Yeah, there might be a, um cave around here somewhere, but I don't think I can get that close to that. Uh, I might have to give up on this one for now. Maybe that, maybe later on there's some kind of gas mask I can make that I can go over there with that green stuff and there's a cave over there? That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not seeing a cave. doesn't mean there's not one here. It just means I'm not seeing it. I saw games for kicks go into caves. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go explore somewhere else. Man, there's a ton of these slugs right around my base. You know what I was thinking? When I go out to explore, like, way out there, maybe I should make a tractor for it. Right? That might be cool. You go, watch out! Stand right here, buddy. Uh, over here? 
Ah! Looky here, this wasn't obvious enough. My god. I am blind as F. Got one this way too? Oh, what's that? You see that right up there? I've been wanting to get that for a while. And uh, we're going to try and do that now. So why don't we go ahead and bring out some... Actually, you know what? The easiest way to do this would be with these. Oh, maybe we could just walk up there. Oh, you know what? There might be something up there too. To fight. And I'm, I'm itching for a fight. Oh, it sounds like it's making crazy noises. Oh, I thought I would have to build my way up here, but... Climb this? Oh, you can! Wow! Oh, there isn't anything up here. That's Oh, there's my coal! There's my coal mine! Look at it! Look at my coal mine! Wow. This game's amazing looking. Alright, what do we got here? We got, uh... A... Sword? I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Okay, I will do that then. All right, so that, my friends, is what we like to call a work in progress. A strange alien thing with mind bending and somehow familiar shape. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Well, there you go. But we got it. So there's that. All right, where's my scanner? All right, we'll go that way. I got to tell you guys, I wasn't on board with this, uh, this like exploration thing, but I'm having a good time. I think we might have to do more of this. Hopefully the videos do well. People said they want to see it, and it's, I'm having a great time with it. I just don't know how it's going to translate to uh, videos. It's definitely a break, you know, in the, the building of the factory stuff. It's probably up there, isn't it? Anybody get up there without building? Yep. Oh, Nate. Yep. No, maybe so. Oh, come on now. Come on. Get up there, bro. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, what do we got over here? We got some nodes, some iron nodes. How good are these? Pure. Actually, you know what? These were pure. I don't think those iron nodes were pure where I put the beacons. I was looking at this, not this. You guys probably already told me that in the comments. But, uh, yeah. Well, good call. <laughs> All right, well, impure sucks. It's even worse than the ones I have. What is this? What the heck is this? Oh. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to get down there? Well, I mean, I know how to get down there. How the hell am I supposed to get back up? We'll have to see. Oh, that thing's friendly. No problem. Oh, what do we got over here? Normal, okay. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> how the hell I'm supposed to get down there. So we will not go down there. Because that would be idiotic. Normal, alright. Normal's pretty good. I should probably mark these, honestly. But, eh. I'm going to save it for when I find pure. Let's grab more. Uh, one thing I'd like to be able to do is farm in this game. Ah, that would be great. Oh, look at that. Looks like we're going to have to do some battle. I'm ready. I'm cocked the lock and ready to rock. Let's dance. That's right. Oh, crap. What's going on? Am I too close to some poison or something? That was weird, wasn't it? I wonder if I could trick him into running off the cliff. Ooh, what is that? Oh, is that hurting me? But it's making my vision weird. Oh, there it goes. Or did I get hit? Shut up, timer. No, I think I got hit. All right, am I taking any damage here? Does not seem like I am. What is this? Raw quartz? Is it used for anything? Nothing I'm, I'm building. Yet. What is this? Oh, copper. Pure copper, but it's not a node, I don't think. Like, um, you know, a place you could put down an auto miner. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, so there. Oh, so it's that green stuff. I didn't see it. Oh, it's it's all over the place. All right, let's GTFO. Come on, come on, get up there. Ugh. All right, let's just build our way out. So somebody said you can like feed these guys and like tame them. Is that true, or was I was I just imagining things? 
Hey. Come on, bud. Can I... How do I do this? Just throw it, or... No, see, it's good. You want to eat it, don't you? Pick up leaves. No, I don't want to pick up leaves. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were talking out of their ass. Oh, boy. Look at this guy. Maybe they were talking out of their ass. I don't know. I could have swore someone said you could, like, feed those little guys and tame them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, damn it. See, we need an easier way to, to change weapons. Come on, bro. You're next. Where are you? I hear you. I hear you. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Where are you? Stop hiding. Coward. Is there another one? No, there's just him. No, there's another one. I think I ran right by him. Alright, I'm not going to worry about him because he's just bothering me now. Maybe we got to feed them this. The barrel nut. Let's try and feed him the barrel nut. Yeah, I don't know. If you, if, you got, if you can feed him something, I don't know how to. Alright, we got to call this one, man. We're going long here. So, I did see another green thing over here. I think we're going to grab that one and call it a video. I don't know where that guy is. He's following me or something. Punk ass. Well, this has been a fruitful episode. That's for damn sure. We've got uh, enough things for, what, uh, five overclockers. So that's pretty cool. And um, I think what we're going to do next video is we're going to um, set up uh, our steel production and get working on that stuff. Normal. Uh, we got to take care of this guy. Yeah, I think we're going to get working on our steel production and uh, just get that going and, you know, make all those things. Like, uh, I don't know, remember what you can make in this steel. I think you can make steel and you can make, like, I don't know, a bunch of things. I, I didn't see the exact names of them. Uh, come on. Get up there. All right, I'm not going to mess around with this. I'm not going to mess around with this. What we're going to do is we're going to make these. And this is the easiest way to get up there. Oh, if, unless you don't bring what you need. So we're going to do that. And this. There we go. And one more. And beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.